We all know that the best and the most rewarding thing to do after intense workout is to take a shower. But which one is best? Should you take the hot shower or the cold one? Now in this video, I'm going to show you the benefits of each and which one works best during a post-workout. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of each other, starting with hot shower. So hot water provides relief from respiratory symptoms, open airways, loosen up phlegm, clear out your nasal passages, good for muscle relaxation, reduce tiredness, and great for bedtime. However, there's a downside of taking hot showers, like it can dry out and irritate skin. Higher temperature makes certain skin conditions worse and like eczema. Hot showers can cause you to itch mast cells that contain histamine and lastly it can increase your blood pressure and if you have problems with high blood pressure this is a big no-no. Well, not bad at all. How about cold shower? As for the cold shower, it calms itchy skin, reduces muscle soreness, it shocks your body which leads to oxygen intake, heart rate, alertness and it can increase blood circulation, give your skin a healthy glow and flushes out lactic acid and help your muscle to start the healing process immediately. But what is lactic acid? During high intensity interval training workout, our body produces a byproduct called lactic acid. When we're working out intensely, our body undergoes many biochemical processes to keep us energized. Normally, our body produces energy through aerobic respiration, a process that relies on oxygen to turn food into fuel. However, when we go ham, our muscles require more oxygen than you can breathe in. Therefore, our muscles began to rely on anaerobic respiration, an energy producing process that does not require oxygen. Hence, lactic acid is produced. However, Cold water is not a good idea if you're sick or unwell. It's also not advisable when it's freezing. Same with hot shower, it may temporarily increase blood pressure, which isn't advisable for those with high blood sugar levels. Well, based on my experience and observation, I've noticed that my body tends to appreciate the cold water due to its ability to speed up the healing process and for some strange reason the muscle sore and the muscle fatigue decreases rapidly when taking long cold showers plus it's the best time for me to meditate and focus my breathing and lastly it helped me to motivate myself during my lazy days just take a cold shower and start your day energized in summary Every yin has its yang. It's basically down to your preference. While some of you were comfortable taking hot shower because it relaxes your muscles after a workout, some might prefer the freezing temperature due to its ability of flushing out lactic acid and immediately relieves muscle soreness. Just because something works for someone else does not mean that same thing will work for you. Just do what best suits you. So are you a fan of hot or cold shower? Type hashtag team hot or hashtag team cold in the comment sections below. So if you got value out of this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And also don't forget to click the notification bell. And if you're looking for another exercise, fitness motivation and crazy workout challenges, you might wanna check the video on the screen right now by clicking it or tapping it. Like this one, this 500 jumping jacks I did and this 500 second plank hold. Can't wait to see you there, mates. And as always, be overly now outrageously motivated. Boom!